Okay, what's up YouTubers? Today I'm just going to make a quick video on how to get Daisy to run in SLI mode, Daisy standalone. Um, the game's not optimised and this is just how to force SLI to run. It's only going to be for NVIDIA GPUs. I'm running two 780 Ti's. I don't know about AMD and Crossfire. This isn't for that, so sorry I can't help you. Um, programs you're going to want is MSI Afterburner and NVIDIA Inspector. You can download them from Google for free. I should put the link in the description. <clears throat> right, so first thing you want to do, right click, go to NVIDIA Control Panel. You want to find DAISY and you want to add to the DAISY exit file. Just click add and that is it. You don't do anything else. You can come out of that. Now you want to boot up NVIDIA Inspector. See this little tool icon here and click on that. Alright, now this is where you're going to create the profile to force SLI to run on the DAISY standalone. What you want to do is you want to click on this little sun icon here, create new profile. I'm not going to click on that because I've already created the profile and I can't name it the same thing again. So, yeah, it'll come up with just blank and it'll say put in the title. What you want to do is you want to look for the, lo the location of your DAISY X file. So mine's my computer, local disk F, Steam, Steam apps, common, DAISY, there's the X file, and there's the address up there. Right click up there, copy the address, and then inside that box, I'll just put it up here. Paste. For some reason it's spilling it out twice for me. But it should look something like that. Right now on your new profile, ambient occlusion compatibility. What you want to do for this is you want to find the armor 2 operation arrowhead, take on helicopter engine armor 3. Blah blah blah. Right, blah, there you go. Armor 2 operation arrowhead, take on helicopters armor 3, armor 2. You want to set that to that. And then this last one at the bottom, SLI compatibility bits should be the same thing you want to add again but at the beginning it says crisis crisis so there you go crisis armor 2 operation overhead taking helicopters set that to that anti-aliasing aliasing I don't know if that's it whatever you want to set this to Pre override any application setting as application controls. <coughs> right, now if you can see this two times my sampling, etc. These ones you don't have to copy, this is just my personal preference. You just the ones that I'm saying out here are what you really need to get it to work in SLI. Ambient occlusion usage. You want to set that to an enable. And now this is the actual SLI bit. You want to set all these number of GPUs to use on SLI rendering mode. You want to set this to two. This is if you're running two GPUs. If you're running three or four, then I guess you put three or four as if. Find number of GPUs to use in this rendering mode. Again. This you want to set to force alternative frame rendering to is what that is, AFR2. And again. Uh, that doesn't matter. that is it now you want to click apply changes in the top right here I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and then yep same title dress link apply changes that is it it will be then saved and now what you want to do is you want to boot up MSI afterburner and make sure that you've got the monitoring tools for like GPU power GPU 2 power usage 
and have them as in on screen display so they show up when you're running the games and once you've got that running you want to boot up DayZ I'm not going to boot it up because if I run fraps it just affects the frame so much but if you have this running boot up DayZ and then it should show something like this, this is the picture I took earlier and it should say your GPU usage in the top left as you can see there's 79 and 75% which is pretty much almost all of the power being used and you can see this was on ultra settings completely maxed out 88 frames which is good enough for me in the cities they, it uses your CPU it doesn't really use your GPU it's just not very well optimized there's nothing you can do about that but running around in the forest and out in the country as such you can get seriously high frames now at ultra settings oh, I hope this helped and good luck getting SLI to work Cheers.